On this video, I'm going to try to go into uh, buying solar panels. I get lots of questions about it. Uh, it's very confusing. Uh, people find it easy to just go buy a system or something put together like Harbor Freight. And uh, so I'm going to go into that. Uh, the uh, lower panels are the new ones. The upper panels are about four years old. And uh, I'll show you the differences in those two. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the upper array is putting out 290, roughly, and the uh, lower array is putting out 230. Um, that kind of a spread isn't too bad, and I've noticed this array here will put out more in low light than this one, but this one will put out more than this one. And uh, as you can see by the uh, amp hours there, um, I reset them both. This one's ahead by 100 and something amp hours. Not a big concern, but uh, you know, I'll monitor if it, uh, if it continues to uh, fall behind. Also, if uh, you're wondering about the low outputs, because the angle of the sun, and uh, it's very hot, and uh, there's hardly any wind, so even though they're spaced over the, off the roof, uh, when panels get hot, they just don't put out. And, um, you know, when they're cold, I'm sure I'll do something in the winter when we get some real fired up uh, watts, because we'll get it for sure. Now I picked these uh, panels up from uh, Amazon.com and they actually deliver UPS which is sweet. Um, some of your big panels are, are just, uh, they're going to have to be truck shipped, it gets expensive, uh, it gets tough to coordinate it. And uh, these are 145 watt panels and it's called Twin Packs, so go check it out. It's an awesome deal. Um, all four of these panels uh, right to my door was 700 bucks, right in there. And um, I'll go into uh, some of the info on the back of the panel and, and what you'll see online, which, uh, you know, is confusing when it comes to buying panels. All right, so this is where uh, buying panels gets really confusing, is uh, all these crazy numbers. Where if you have a graph like this, and, uh, and I'll kind of go into that. We're going to go on a 12-volt basis. This is my, these are my old panels, and uh, I've actually got them wired up in 24 volts, which means two, two of them are paired together. So they're in series, they're uh, not in parallel. And uh, basically I want to go to like the, the max I want to take my battery bank up to. This is for off-grid stuff only pretty much. I want to go up to like 15 and a half, 16 volts. So if I go straight up the graph, I'm pretty much meeting the max output of the panel. And then uh, let me go into some of these numbers. So the list of data, you probably can't see this and it's not very important. Um, but just remember, I'm going to show you on another panel uh, what is important, and uh, some of these uh, some of these numbers are just makes it so confusing. And uh, remember that uh, these panels are always tested inside of a light box, and they keep it very cold in there. And uh, a cold panel with lots of light makes lots of power. So let's go to a panel. Let me show you what is important. I don't know if you can see any of that. I don't think you can. All right, so let's bring in the spreadsheet from my. Uh, my old uh, panels. These are the older ones, and I wrote down the uh, volts open circuit. This is these are the old panels, and uh, originally I was running those at 12 volt. Then I uh, series them together in sets of two, so the volts open circuit be 44, you know, or 45 volts, and the new ones are at 33.20. So I put those in uh, parallel, and. Uh, so they're a little bit different. They're just different panels. So in a nutshell, maximum power voltage, VMP. This is the one you want to worry about the most. And even if you have an MPPT charge controller, you want to make sure you're at least 4 to 5 volts above what you would ever anticipate pumping your batteries up to. Very important. The rest of it, it's somewhat important, but this is number one when it comes to buying panels. Now I do not do this for a living, I'm actually an aircraft mechanic. Uh, this is a project I'm doing for a friend. We're doing a completely off-grid system. It's going to be on an island, uh, little house and little needs. And um, So this is going to be as a ray. We're going to do a battery bank. We're going to do a pure sine wave uh, inverter. And uh, it's going to be a pretty cool little setup. Uh, I haven't asked him, you know, if I could video it or not. If I can, I'll surely show it to you because uh, some of you are going to be very interested in it because we're going to do everything. We'll do the AC wiring, do the DC wiring, the panel setups, the battery setups. So if I can do that, uh, I'm surely going to show it to you. 
Also, never forget to look into your tax credits. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you put on your business, your second home, any of that. Uh, you get a federal tax credit, which is a big deal. Um, federal uh, does not require UL listed panels, or they used to not. Do your own research there. Uh, some states do. Our state doesn't. Um, I think United Laboratories is kind of a ripoff, although they're important for a lot of things, but I don't think they're very important for solar panels. But uh, do your research there. Um, you know, 700 bucks for these panels straight to the door. Uh, cut that right in half. 350 bucks for all four of these panels. 145 watts a piece. It's a heck of a deal. Same with the batteries, all the wiring, the labor, everything. So uh, think about that too. All right. So when you get a panel delivered. Uh, there's a couple things you want to look at. The most obvious is going to be busted glass. If it's broken, it's broken. You want to look at your frame. You want to look at the back sides of them. You want to look for sealing. Um, and don't worry about discolorations in your uh, cells and all that. That's sort of normal. These are actually very consistent. Pretty impressed. But uh, one of the main things is you want to look down your frames on all four sides. Make sure they're straight as an arrow because glass is pretty flexible. But tempered glass, when it's being flexed, all it takes is like a couple of dots of hail, and this thing will shatter. So don't contact your uh, manufacturer uh, after you put your panels up. Uh, they've all been tested, they've all been put through light boxes. If something's wrong with them, yeah, chances are you did it. But uh, do a really good job on inspecting them, make sure everything looks good. It's all going to be pretty obvious, all sealed up. And enjoy them for a long time, 20, 30 years. Awesome. And don't forget to clean them. Got a dry mop here. A little Lysol, yeah. Lemon fresh. Now never do this while they're hot. Wait till the sun's gone down. Get the bird turds off. And get them nice and clean. No job for a swipper here, guys. I'm a mop man. I'm old school. I'm old school. How long has the mop been around? Forever. How about that de debate last night? Ooh! You would think with all these solar panels on my roof, I'd have an Obama sticker on my car or my truck. Not! These solar panels keep my guns dry. Gotta do the little panels, too. Hey, I don't care where you guys are politically. You'll never see political videos out of me. You might see a little punt here and there. But uh, I hope this helped and uh, you guys have a great night. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening.